Hey there, welcome to a look at how to get your adaptive triggers and haptic feedback properly working in Spider-Man Remastered. Just like uh, my uh, Death Stranding video, but I thought I'd do this for Spider-Man in case anyone looks it up directly themselves. Right, so there are three things you need to do. First of all, you need to make sure your controller is wired to your PC. It has to be wired. I said this in the last video, but still people were commenting, asking if why it wasn't working with Bluetooth. You have to connect it via USB-C to your computer. It will not work wirelessly, Bluetooth, anything. It will only work connected via USB. That is it. That is it alone. That is the first thing you need to do. So USB connection, I will say it again, USB connection to your PC, wired. Then you will want to go and then uh, go down to right click on your little speaker in, in, in the taskbar and go to open sound settings. Then go to the sound control panel and the related settings on the right. And then you'll want to make sure that you, your wireless controller, so that I've this renamed to DualSense, but I think it is called wireless controller or just speaker. You'll want to make sure that the one that is called wireless controller is enabled and turned on. So you'll, you'll want to make sure that it is fully enabled and ready to go. Then in Steam, you will want to right click on Spider-Man Remastered in your games list. Or go to the settings uh, on the page itself. Go to the settings, the manage icon over here on the right. So let's right click and go to properties. Go to controller and disable Steam input to stop the emulation layer stopping the haptic feedback and adaptive triggers details from coming through to the controller. So make sure that it is fully disabled on Spider Man for you to get your haptic feedback and adaptive triggers. And that should be it. So those are the three things. Wired, make sure that your, your controller is enabled in sound settings as a speaker, and make sure that you have disabled Steam input. Those are the three things that you need to do, and then it, sh it should work through fine, go through fine, and uh, let's go in here. I mean, I can't show you that the triggers are working, but like, yes, the triggers will be working. Absolutely. So working for your web slinging and all that, you'll you, uh, like any any sort of web slinging with R two. You'll be able to feel the the controller having a bit of pull right at the end, a bit of resistance, a bit of tension, and that should keep you going. Now, um, in in the in you go down the gamepad in the settings as well. And make sure that these are turned on. They're turned on by default, but just in case. You've accidentally turned them off, or for some reason your game is defaulted to turning them off for the DualSense wire uh, controller, then, um, yeah. And don't pay attention to it saying DualSense wireless controller. That is the name of the controller. You still cannot do it wirelessly. You need to have it USB connected. That's just the official name. You need. I will reiterate just one more time. You need to have it USB connected. I, I know a lot of people still keep asking why it won't work bluetooth and all that uh, but like you just need to have it wired it, it does not work due to due to no proper drivers on pc so you again you you need to have it usb connected and that should be it then it should be working and then you can just use your dual sense all around all you want inside spider-man and it'll be just like playing on the ps5 but what higher clarity if you've got good enough uh good enough quality pc to do it so yeah that's that cheers Please leave a like and a subscribe if you if this was helpful for you, hopefully, and hopefully you enjoy yourself some Spider-Man. Hopefully Sony brings some proper drivers to PC so we don't have to worry about the whole USB thing. Um, it'd be nice if Steam could Im it could like filter the uh, adaptive triggers and haptic feedback through their emulation layer of Steam input so you didn't have to disable that on a per-game basis. But uh, it is what it is and just the way things are at the moment. So there we go. Right. Take care. Have a good day. Have a good weekend.